Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, or if it's your first visit, glad to have you here. Today, I'm showing you how to get custom songs in Beat Saber on Quest 2, Quest 3, and Quest Pro. This isn't officially supported by Beat Saber, but with a little bit of modding and some super handy tools, we're gonna breeze through this process together. As of now, the only method of modding Beat Saber requires the use of a computer. But don't worry, when a no PC method pops up, I promise I'll put together a new guide for those of you who don't have access to a computer. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. If you have multiple accounts in your headset, you'll need to remove the secondary ones before we get into the modding process. But don't worry, you can add those accounts back in once modding is finished. Here's a quick guide on how to do it. Head over to Settings, click Accounts, and for each secondary account, hit the three dots to find the option to remove it. And another important step before we get moving, make sure that Developer Mode is on. If you haven't done this yet, I've got a video linked in the description that walks you through the process step by step. The next step is optional. You don't need to do this, but if you want to keep your high scores and game progress, then don't skip this step. We'll be using SideQuest for this. Head over to SideQuestVR.com. Click Get SideQuest and select the Advanced Installer. It'll pick the right installer for your OS, but for those of you on Windows 11, don't worry, the Windows 10 installer will work just fine. You'll notice the connection status in the top left corner of the window shows not detected at this moment. It's time to connect your MetaQuest to your computer. The USB cable that came with your headset is perfect for this. But if your computer doesn't have a USB-C slot, a USB-A to USB-C cable will also do the trick. Once detected by your computer, status will change to an authorized allowing headset. Put on your headset and you should see a prompt asking you to allow USB debugging. Select Always Allow. Now that it's connected, head to Currently Installed Apps located at the top right corner of the window. Find Beat Saber and click on the gear icon to its right. Select Backup Game Data. Now let's move over to Quest Patcher. Quest Patcher is a tool for patching Beat Saber to make it mod ready and for installing the necessary mods that enable custom songs. To get started, just click on the link in the description below, which will take you straight to the download page. On this page, look for the installer located in the Assets section, and be sure to download the installer that matches your operating system. Now that Quest Patcher is installed, it's time to patch Beat Saber. First, make sure that your headset is still connected to your computer. If you didn't install SideQuest, then now is the time to enable USB debugging. Check the prompt in your headset and click Always Allow. And back in Quest Patcher, click Try Again. With Scotland 2 selected as the mod loader, hit Patch My App to begin the patching process. Now that patching is complete, our next move is to load up Beat Saber with essential mods. With your game version selected, click Download All Core Mods. While exploring, you'll come across various other mods available for download. These offer additional features and enhancement, but I highly recommend that you install them one at a time and take your game for a test run after each installation. Some mods are a combination of them can cause Beat Saber to crash, so this helps you easily pinpoint any potential conflicts. It's also a good idea to pick up the Better Song Search mod to improve your song discovery experience when downloading new tracks. In the Mod Management tab within Quest Patcher, click Browse and start installing your downloaded mods. With everything installed, you can now disconnect your cable and open Beat Saber. If you encounter a warning telling you to restore, there's no need to worry. This notification simply means that your Beat Saber game has been successfully modded. Just click close on the warning. A permission for access will come up, so make sure to allow it. 
It doesn't show on my screen recording, but you'll see it on your end. To start exploring and downloading custom songs, just click on the Song Downloader button once you're in the game. It will give you access to a wide array of custom tracks ready for downloading. It offers basic filtering capabilities to assist you in your search for songs. However, if you're in need of more detailed search functionality, the Better Song Search mod is highly recommended. This mod greatly enhances your ability to filter and sort songs. Plus, you get to see the number of upvotes for each title, which can help you decide which one to pick when a title has multiple maps available. And for those who previously bought DLCs, you can download your purchased DLCs again without any additional cost. All the content you've paid for remains yours to enjoy at no extra cost. If you made it this far and got it working, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.